Tienda is a Spanish word for a neighborhood store, a small store that plays a large role in many communities. Here's our newest Sunday morning contributor, NPR's Maria Inojosa. From the outside, this place looks like a nothing special corner grocery, but a bodega. A real New York City bodega. The best coffee. Is so much more. Buen día, mi reina, ¿cómo está? When you walk into a bodega, you feel like you're at home. Diana Rodriguez would know. I can go back as far where I was born because I lived on top of a bodega. And started working here at the age of six. A bodega is a place where you might find ripe avocados right below the Jackson ball set and where the pantyhose sit next to the glue traps. Confusing to the outsider, maybe, but neighborhood folks come here day after day for all of those things, plus a breakfast sandwich, Diana's favorite. A bacon, egg, and cheese on a hero. Variations on egg and cheese. Un sandwich de huevo con queso. So good. There are more than 10,000 bodegas throughout New York City's five boroughs. For you, what is the heart of a great bodega? El que está detrás del counter. The person behind the counter. Definitivamente, sí. At Pamela's Green Deli, that person behind the counter is Pamela. She's been a fixture at this location for nearly 30 years. He's my baby. Michael Diaz may not know her real name is Nina Baez. But she knows his name and more. If I say, hi, Miss Pamela, how are you doing? She says, so, you want your cheese and ham sandwich? I say, of course. This bodega is owned by Diana's father, Radames Rodriguez, who came to the United States from the Dominican Republic in 1985. I love the bodega because, first of all, I make money. And second of all, I like be with people. He and his two brothers now own 12 bodegas, where shoppers find something you can't buy. Have you ever helped somebody get a, a plumber or an electrician? Yes. Have you ever helped somebody with a loan? Yes. So it's no surprise that there's no shortage of good luck dollar bills. <laughs> That's the good luck. <laughs> the whole neighborhood. <laughs> yes. Yo sé que ellos me quieren al igual que los quiero yo a ellos. It means that you feel like your customers love you? Yes. As much as you love your customers? Yes. <laughs> but along with the good, there's a little bad. It's really hard to prevent people from buying things that aren't as healthy. According to New York City health officials, poor neighborhoods suffer from high rates of diabetes and obesity, and bodegas are hardly known for stocking nutritious foods. I live for pork skins when I come to the bodega. Right here, no sugar. Fantastic for my pre-diabetic condition. Okay. That's because there's only enough room for what sells. The snack cake food group. <laughs> Which is why Dallas Penn, comedian and blogger, created his special bodega food pyramid. Without the snack cakes, without the potato chips, and the quarter waters and the 40 ounces, no, you're not a bodega, I'm sorry. You're just a grocery store. To be certain, there are signs of change on the shelves of some bodegas. The first step is for bodegas to be courageous. The second step is let's educate the consumers on the other products that are going to be of value to them. The thousands of bodegas throughout New York are owned by Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Yemenis, and others. And for 19-year-old Diana Rodriguez, someday running a bodega of her own defines the American dream. Still, her father is hoping she aims higher. You kept saying that bodega is the best thing to have, but every time I say I want to have a bodega, you're like... But I don't want you to go through all the things that I, I, I went through. Okay, but now we don't have to start from day one, you know? It's like I, t I have to take advantage of the fact that you've made it so far. <laughs> all the same, because Diana knows that while her college degree is still a few years off, off, she already has a higher education in bodega. I understand I'm going to school for bio and pre-med and hopefully I do go into medical school and stuff like that, but that's not me. Business runs in my family, it runs in my blood, so it's like, if I can do more, I will. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>